I am pretty tired right now and I feel like a bit of an idiot. <laughs> I was texting my mum and dad, telling them where I'm going to be for the rest of this week. I started typing the email and I said, this is the track I'm going to be doing from Tuesday till Friday. And I was like, I'll put the dates in there as well. Tuesday the 1st of August, and I looked at my watch and I was like, Holy moly, it's not Tuesday. And also, I can't count. It's meant to be a five-day hike. How is Tuesday to Friday a five-day hike, Jack? This is at seven o'clock last night, sitting in this bed, pooped from the Uluru Trek and then the Kings Canyon Trek and then four hours of driving back to Alice Springs. <laughs> and I'm just sitting here like, you idiot. The hike is tomorrow morning. It's not Tuesday. I called them straight away. I was just like... Oh my gosh, I completely forgot to come to the briefing yesterday, so I didn't get the briefing. In hindsight, that might have been a good thing because they just gave me a 15 minute briefing instead of a two and a half hour briefing yesterday. Still haven't got a chance to meet the group, but I guess I'll just do that today. I think the lack of sleep, all the driving, all that sort of stuff, clearly just had my mind in a bit of a haze, but someone else is doing the driving today and someone else is doing the guiding today. I just have to walk and I know I can do that. I'm Abby. I'm Jake. Oh, nice time. Okay, cool. Yeah. Maybe grab yourselves two of the Ziploc bags as well, so that way you've got one for a rubbish bag. I'm just going to take those pairs out there. This is luxurious, then. No more internet, just phone on extreme battery sailor. This is the trial of the Larrakins trail. Um, we're going to be walking <coughs> firstly um, to the first half of section one. Of course I volunteer to be at the front of the pack, carrying the radio. Larrakins trail, commencement. Well, we've been walking for like half an hour and the, uh, the jacket's already coming off. He's found a lookout point, hasn't he? Yeah. He's a big one. Wouldn't want to box him. No. <laughs> is trying to poke its head out over there. There's other springs. Left the pack behind just a little bit so I can film without interrupting anyone's peace and quiet because it is really nice quiet on this trail, something that I'm enjoying, just taking the time to just have a think, you know, I feel like I've just been moving, moving, moving for the last, I don't know how long, we're about 9k's in, of a 15k day, feeling good, some hot spots on the toes, probably just due to the fact that I have already done 20k's over the last two days, my feet aren't too happy about that, especially when it's flat like the base of Uluru. This undulating stuff though, up and down over these hills in the West McDonald Ranges, this is what my feet like, and this is also what I like. Having fun. Not a bad spot for lunch. Yeah. Like a rock. Yeah. I need some shade. Mm. Just climbing and crossing over Mount Euro. Sheer drops on that side. Beautiful valley on this side. Euro Ridge. Euro Ridge. Round about 300 million years ago, there was a big mountain building event which is known as the Alice Springs Orogeny. It was basically where two plates were coming together 
more or less in central Australia where we are now is where they converged and it's pushed up these mountain ranges. We're pretty much walking on one side of that range. Every tree is on the other side. Body corporate. I fucking regret it now. Wow, they're fast, aren't they? So spinifex pigeons, you yeah. said. Okay. <laughs> they're pretty funny. They're a bit neurotic. <laughs> Oh well, we've done 15.6 k's, Colbert. Yeah, according to my watch. So this is where we get picked up for the for the day, and that is day one of walking complete. Every time I remember, I need to get one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. When I saw it in the. Pretty basic setup tonight. Just got the swag, another mattress, fitted sheet, sleeping bag, pillow, done. Yes, get in me. Yeah, I agree. This place is uh, fairly unexpectedly good. <laughs> Thank you. 